What is going on guys, it's Hamprogram here and welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial and in this second episode, we're gonna take a look at the basic syntax and the basic variable types because in the previous video I said there will be a basic syntax but the scene got deleted. So here we are in Droid Edit as I showed in the previous video about installing Droid Edit. This is a text editor. So the first line here is declaring a variable so we're gonna put the stuff if you put any uh, text with the first of it is being dead slash double slash or triple or anything but double is very very common to be used you cannot do it with just one like this no it is called divide you may know that from maths but in programming double slash like this is called comments so comments can be written like this it won't be executed by code so in the first line of code we'll put comment it is declaring the variable and the second line is assigning and by the way you can put another way of commenting this is multi-line comment this means you can multi-line the command so there's multiple lines of it and this is the one one lines variable declaration and assignment so declaration and assignment is different so when you declare something it is there but we just don't know what it is yet and now we combine declaring and assigning into one line so it's a little bit tidier and a little bit faster on the code and the next thing here I introduce you with another variable type which is integer integer is a variable that contains numbers any numbers but not a floating numbers so in JavaScript you don't have to declare like variable integer int you don't have to do that because this is JavaScript it is automatically detects what you type there so it's integer or string or even car so we got a car which is like this only containing one thing if you put cars as variable names that is okay as long as its content is not cars it's only one characters and this is just the basic variables types and variables if i haven't declared this before the variable is null okay so before you declare a variable it is null the next thing we're going to learn is function so you can declare a function by doing something like this function func so I'll name this function func and that is the name. So this is a basic structure of a function. You can optionally put a arguments. So we got argument one or argument two. You can access this variable but you cannot set this variable. So for example, we got for name two equal argument one. This will set the name two into the argument one. And in a function, every function can return something. So we got put return zero, for example, or you can return a variable. So this is the basic of the function. And there's another way of defining a function. So we go call this function two equal to function. And this is also a way to declare it you can put more than one arguments or zero for zero arguments that is very very up to you and as well this can return a variable and what is the function of the function yeah the function the use of the function for example I can have a function called multiply we got number one and number two and then we can return and one multiply and two. So
So as you may notice, I am using external keyboards and mouse, but it is very very useful. But it is very optional as well. And I've introduced you to something called operators. Yep, yeah, that multiply is operator, plus is operator. Brackets are operators, carry brackets, square brackets are all operators. And you can use this function. So yeah, for number equal to multiplication. So you're gonna put multiply. Oh wait, let me type a little bit there. So that multiply and we're passing in the variables on our own. So this is where we set the arguments for the function. I'm gonna put three and three. So this will return nine. So in the previous video, I told you guys that it will be important this mod into block launcher. So we'll do it now. But before that, we're gonna put a simple call um, function to call here. We got print now. I've introduced you to the print. And by the way, I got a video how to get all functions that is built in already, so you can use them to interact with Minecraft and block launcher. That's basically on the corner there. That video, and you can the pass the argument. The only f argument in this print function is string so we're gonna put in string and we got um, mod successful with a lot of exclamation mark so we're gonna save this and I'll go to block hunter and import this actually before we import the mod it is very very important that we hook up our mod to one of the game's main functions so we can hook, which is mean our code will run on Minecraft, will be run on block launcher, it is connected to the game. So we're gonna hook it to a function, we'll be call it, um, actually we're gonna open up our mod by script, dump j, so we got this, and as I said, you can check link in the description to how to get this thing. We're gonna find the function here, this is the list of functions we can hook and i'm gonna put in the attack hook so uh, our string hook we're gonna chat hook i'm gonna copy this and it is in my mod base in my test model js i'm gonna paste it here function chat hook it's already there and we're gonna paste in here the function will be moved there so the print will be here i'm just gonna tidy up a little bit the code so now we'll be importing it to block launcher now we're in minecraft so now we're in minecraft guys now we can test the mod and i have hooked the chat hook script so now we can just chat in this thing and i have actually tested it so we can type anything that comes in and it is printed mod successful that's what we type anything you type will print out mod successful and by the way this cool menu if you still wonder this is by bedrock enchantment facts links will be in the description to my other video on how to install it and where is it coming from so unfortunately guys that's all I got time for today thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm doing this in a series that you will be notified if you subscribe to me and I also need a whole lot of subscribers because as you can see here 96% of my subscriber of my viewers are not subscribed so please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time